All right, everybody, welcome to Tuesday. How you doing today? I hope you're all well. Let's see what's going on for you. Um, this week, I am gonna try to do the Pathfinders group live. Uh, I will be um, in Greece at the time, so it's gonna be um, quite late for me, just FYI, and I don't know about the Wi-Fi, so that's my plan. <laughs> that's my plan. The astrology group, you're getting a recorded uh, lesson that I, um, I believe the Vertex class, which is another timing, uh, um, hmm, another way of telling time through astrology of like when things might happen for you. So that's what's going to happen for the astrology group. But Pathfinders, I'm really planning on uh, seeing you live. We're going to talk a little bit more about wishful thinking versus intuition and how to really tell the difference and how to kind of work with that energy. Okay. That's what my plan is. Let's see where we go on Wednesday. All right. Underneath infinite abundance, beautiful coming in here. Abundance is pouring into your life, breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering into your life. No question about that. And solitude in silence. Peace prevails. There's something here about a, um, a taking stock. And so you are on the precipice of something big here. And I feel like you might know it's coming. Like there can be an, um, there can, can be some level of wisdom that's showing up for you. There can also be physical abundance, lots of friends, some new friends coming in, new beginnings coming in with love, new beginnings coming in with all manner of situations in your life. It's just like a clearing uh, that just feels very joyful to me. So like looking over, uh, you know, the next couple of months, you could uh, have a lot of luck and a lot of money can be flowing into your life. That can be physical money or it can be just riches. Like I'm so blessed to have this person in my life. I'm so blessed to have this opportunity. Uh, it is um, coming when you make some kind of breakthrough. There is some kind of breakthrough that you're needing to facilitate or you're needing to say yes to. Just keep saying yes. All right. It's like improv. Just keep saying yes. That's for somebody. All right. So let's see where we're going with the reading. Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Star. Strength. And the Page of Swords. A lot of very beautiful, youthful energy in this. Um, there can be somebody who is who is um, looking to apologize, looking to apologize or expecting an apology. If someone's an ex if someone is expecting an apology from you, and it comes from a place of well, you're the one that needs to step up. You're the one that needs to apologize. I feel like that's off. I feel like they're off. But if someone wants to legit sort of show up to you and say, you know what, I'd really like to heal this relationship because the star is here. I see Aquarius. I see Leo. I see Virgo here. If they're legit wanting to do that, I feel like it might be coming through a text or coming through some, maybe even a written message. It will be more humble. It won't be like, hey, you owe me an apology um, especially when you don't, but <laughs> I don't feel like you do. I feel like this is another person who's been humbled by a situation that says, oh, wow, I really want you to stay in my life. So let's just talk it through. I don't really know who needs to apologize. Maybe we both need to apologize to each other, but it feels like a blessing to me. All right. If this feels like a real blessing to me. So there's Virgo again. So, uh, the hermit energy, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Wow. Yeah, somebody is, some. this may be in the future for some of you. You may not even know what this is about. But I feel like somebody has um, kind of run roughshod over you or taken advantage of your kind and loving nature. Okay, especially if you were making them some kind of offer to help them out or something like that, or you're sharing your wisdom and they rejected it at one point, you know, not everybody wants advice. And sometimes if we say things, it can get a little heated because this person's not ready for our advice or it's too strong. It's just like too much in their face. Um, 
Nine of Pentacles tower right in the middle. Oh my goodness. Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah. And the Queen of Cups. Um, I just feel like it might have been a bad time. Somebody that you are meant to have on your path here, it there might have been some kind of falling out or some kind of argument or whatever. I feel like they're going to think better of it. I feel like this person is going to turn around and say, oh man, I screwed up. Okay. So expect the unexpected. This is somebody that you do have a mission with, a purpose with in the solitude. That's the solitude card. They're recognizing what a loss it is that you are not in their life. They are recognizing this. Um, I feel like this person is going to suddenly come in this knight of wands and the tower. I'm going to clarify the tower here. And you may not, you may not see this coming. The eight of swords here. You may not see it, see it coming. You may be just like, you know what? That person dropped out of my life or left my life rather unceremoniously. I, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. This person is just who they are. And so I'm going to keep moving in my life. I'm going to keep stepping forward. But I feel like this person comes back. This is somebody who has wronged you and somebody who has, um, who does owe you an apology. And if they're meant to stay in your life after the apology, they will. If this is, if some of you, maybe a very small portion of you, this is somebody who wronged you and now recognizes that it was meant for you to sort of part ways. And before that happens, I feel like this person's going to come back around and say, Hey, I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry that this couldn't have been you and me, or I'm sorry that this was not in the cards. Like literally, I'm, I'm sorry that, um, I did something stupid. I'm sorry that I took for, took you for granted. I'm sorry, whatever it is. Okay. So what is this tower energy? I love when a card jumps out when I'm asking about the tower. I love it. I love it. I love it. More Virgo, Knight of Pentacles. This person, uh, this may, for some of you, this may have happened a long time ago or relatively, because there's a lot of pentacles here. This is kind of slow moving energy. I feel like this person didn't really understand until it was long since over, right? Like there might've been some kind of blowout or some kind of ghosting, even like a silent quiet quitting kind of experience. And even right after it happened, they still didn't get it. It's been a, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm going to say that this might've happened earlier this year, maybe February or March where the line was crossed or you kind of made some kind of decision or an ending was happening, or that person was really hardcore manipulating you at that point, And that's when boom, um, you decided to make this, this shift. Um, there's a lag time here though. It feels like things didn't really completely drop out until just recently. Um, or there might've been some kind of shift in the wind here energetically. And this person's kind of getting it now. They are getting it. The Knight of Pentacles, sun, beautiful energy here. Seven of Pentacles, this person's super slow on the uptake. My God, three of swords. It took them, they were at first, they were like, fine, whatever, don't care, don't care, don't care. And then after a while, it was like, oh, I don't want, either I don't want this to end like this, or I don't, I, I um, let's not leave anything jagged between us. And if it's meant to continue on, then it will. But this is on a different footing, okay? This is absolutely on a different footing. I feel like you now may have this three of wands. There may be some kind of, in the past, there was some kind of expectation around this relationship that may have been false or faulty. You may have expected this person to be someone they're not. And so your part of this might be that you were trying to, um, uh, or you were acting as if this person was you know, the person that's meant to be with you for the rest of your life. And maybe that's not true. You might've been acting and like not really seeing this person for who they are. And so 
when when people um, when when you have that kind of experience when someone's trying to you know turn you into a knight in shining armor and you know damn well you're not or someone is trying to um, make you their savior or something like that it feels super uncomfortable for the other person so I feel like that's happening here where you might have kind of said that this person is my is my twin flame or something like that and they're kind of like I don't I don't even know what that means and they might have just gotten scared or whatever but I feel like you some of you this is for a person if this isn't you then you got put on a pedestal and that's also an uncomfortable place to be there's no space for humanity when you put someone on a pedestal none the minute there's some kind of little mistake or whatever off with your head okay so this eight of swords don't see not seeing this tower coming that three of swords makes me feel like there's going to be some kind of bearing of the hatchet here that there's an awareness that this person is not a knight in shining armor that there this person is not the person you thought they were eight of swords ten of cups uh, temperance then page of wands and the six of swords i feel like this is significant most of this reading is being taken up with a person who may not stick around for you, who may not be in your life for very much longer. But the way it ended was so um, unproductive or, uh, well, let me just say it this way. There was a purpose to it, if you, especially if you stepped away from someone who was really being a jerk, right? Manipulating, manipulative, awful. If you stepped away, they didn't expect you to do that. And that's because they thought that they were, um, uh, if they were the one on a, if you had put them on a pedestal, they never expected you to walk away. Okay. And so there's something here that they miss that. If this person is not a good person, you know who you are. If you're dealing with someone who's not a good person, what they're missing, what they're missing from you is your hero worship. And I feel like the space here is giving you a chance to see this person for who they really are. That is going to make this conversation, this apology or this time when we kind of like have this be a different kind of ending so much better. I feel like you'll have different things to say to this person that you wouldn't have said before because of the pedestal thing. And I also feel like if they put you on a pedestal, there's something here about humanity that they see you more clearly. It's just a lot of healing happening in this conversation. Okay. And you may not think a lot of this, especially if this person doesn't stick around in your life, but this, this particular clearing up of the jaggedness is servicing or in service to a future relationship that's trying to come in. Number one, you don't want this kind of hanging out there as a jagged edge. But number two, there's some lessons to be learned from this for you. Even if you are not the one at fault here, it's the other person that you feel like you need, you should get an apology from them. There's something here about being gracious. And there's also something here about like, okay, well, we're not going to be lovers or we're not going to be together for the rest of our lives, but I'd rather part as friends. Nothing jagged. Okay, so this is in service of something in the future. Oh, devil card, wheel of fortune, eight of cups. The six of swords and the eight of cups are both moving on cards, moving forward, four of wands. There is something really beautiful coming. This might be a kind of a hard lesson to swallow right now, okay? But it is in service to something much more beautiful that I don't really think you could completely claim with the way this is right now. So forgiveness is needed, an apology is needed, um, a reckoning of some kind is opening the door to your future. That's really lovely. All right, I'm going to continue on. Pathfinders, we're just going to keep going. If you're not a Pathfinder, if you're not part of that group, there's a link below if you want to continue on with this reading. I will see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody 
who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.